Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of May 1932, Al Capone began life as a convict in Atlanta Federal Penitentiary. Found guilty on October the 17th, 1931 of federal income tax evasion, he was sentenced to 17 years imprisonment. Capone had risen to dominate Chicago's organised crime scene since becoming gang boss in January 1925 when he was aged just 26 years old. Although his primary business was bootlegging and distributing alcohol, Capone expanded the gang's activities to include prostitution and protection rackets. His downfall began when the Supreme Court ruled that illegally earned income still needed to be declared for tax purposes. Capone ordered his accountant to make the declaration, and in 1930 an income of $100,000 was declared for the year 1928-29. to This provided the evidence that Capone had failed to pay his taxes, and was therefore able to be prosecuted. Arriving at Atlanta Federal Penitentiary as prisoner number 40886, Capone was diagnosed with syphilis and gonorrhea, both presumably picked up while working as a bouncer at a brothel in his early 20s. Alongside the effects of cocaine withdrawal, the onset of neurosyphilis led to Capone becoming increasingly reliant on his cellmate Red Rodinsky to protect him from the other inmates. Having also secured unlimited access to the prison warden, rumours of special treatment soon began to emerge. To ensure that Capone was unable to manipulate the system any further, he therefore became one of the very first inmates to be sent to the island prison Alcatraz in August 1934.